Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome back to more of the Yoshi's New Island playthrough. Last time we took on some extra levels, and uh, they were pretty tricky, not gonna lie, but uh, we're gonna cool things down here, and when I say cool, I mean in the relaxed sense, but also in the weather sense, because we're going to the snow world today, which... Hey, the snow world. Sounds like World 5 of the original game. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. 5-1. Brave the Bumpty Blizzard. So for those who aren't familiar with like the terminology and the different creatures in Yoshi's Island, Bumpties are these guys. These cute little penguins that you can bounce on. You can actually go pretty high if you bounce on them, too. Uh, they can also just bounce you around like this, too. Uh, you also can't eat them, which that was a thing in the original game, too. So they do keep that property, unlike some other enemies where, you know, you can eat them in the original, but you can't eat them now. So they at least stay pretty consistent for the most part. Uh, I'm just checking to see if there's anything over here that I could be missing... Looks like we got a, uh, well, we got a tap tap we landed on. I want to see if I can maybe, oh, there we go. There we go, got our first flower. Whoa. Man, these bumpies. They're bumping me all over the place. Okay, let's go up here. Kind of a clever place to hide a flower, I have to admit. Um, but there we go. I think that's actually everything for right now. Already we're at the middle ring, which... You know, not exactly the halfway point, but... Am hoping they start giving us more of the uh, um, red coins at the very least. Uh, so here we have the first appearance of the Ice Melon. The Ice Melon is pretty much the same as it was in the original game. You can use it to freeze enemies, and... Oh. I actually wasn't aware that they could... Oh, yeah, that's actually kind of cool. That's kind of cool. You can actually, um... The, um, Bumpneys can actually, um... Help out the other enemies by giving them a platform to jump from, which is kind of cool. Kind of a neat implementation of that, I have to admit. Um, but uh, one property that is actually new for the Ice Melon that you couldn't do in the original game, uh, if you ran into frozen enemies in the original game, you just break them. But in this game, you can actually use them as a projectile of sorts, and you can use them to, you know, get objects too. So that is one thing we'll be able to do with uh, the Ice Melon this time, which is kind of cool. I'm always a fan when they kind of use concepts in new and interesting ways. Now, there are no uh, collectibles in here, but I am going to go ahead and uh, make some eggs. Hopefully we get a red egg, too. Actually, one thing I could do. There we go. So I got those stars back that I lost earlier. See, I just like that you can do stuff like that, too. <laughs> you know, get your stars back a lot more efficiently. Okay, there we go. Got full eggs. Let's go ahead and go back in here. Let's be careful we don't get bumped off by any of these enemies. I'm going to go ahead and grab the ice melon again. Now, right here, uh, be very careful because um, one thing you got to remember is that if you hit a frozen enemy into another frozen enemy... Um, hold on. Okay, that's the button. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they'll break if you shoot one frozen enemy into another one, so make sure you do that before you, uh, you know, kick something. Uh, but we do have another transformation, and I think this is supposed to be the Skeen transformation from the original game, where, um, you know, Yoshi has a Santa, or no, the baby Mario has a Santa hat, and then Yoshi has uh, skis. But um, as you can see, uh, in this, Yoshi just turns into a bobsled himself. And uh, <laughs> I gotta admit, I wish I had a bobsled like this. This looks really cool. 
But yeah, this is pretty much just like any of the other transformations for the most part. You use the gyro controls to move. And then you can just go through the course. Pretty sure I got everything, so we should be good to go. And I believe this will take us to the next middle ring. So we're going to jump in there, get that. And now we're in an icy cave. Okay. Now right here... Um, don't jump too high. Like, don't jump while you're bouncing on those guys. Just, just kind of walk over them. So you'll get all those coins and be fine. And we're gonna go up here. Let's enter this door. I want to say the last flower's in here, too. And you gotta do more bumpy bouncing. Too extreme game, too extreme. Okay, so we still need two red coins, but we should be able to get them in this next room, I'm pretty sure. And there we go, okay. That is the first level of World 5 completed. And we actually get some of the egg medals too, which is nice. So yeah, pretty good first level, not gonna lie. So let's move on to the next level, and um, you know, in the original Yoshi's Island, we had like three levels of snow, and then later we had like three levels of sky for the rest of World 5. Here they kind of switch interchangeably between the two so we actually have one of the sky levels now so even though it was just snowing the snow's pretty much gone now so now we have fine feathered friends or foes and i believe this is in reference to the goonie enemies in the original yoshi's island game and subsequent to yoshi's yoshi games anyway Yep, we have all the different variations of Goonies. We have the Flightless Goonies. We'll have the Flying Goonies very soon as well. Um, I think even, like, the Ball Goonies will actually appear, too. Here, let me do this, just to make sure I... That was close. Yep, here's the Ball Goonie. They're having a ball, I guess you could say. <laughs> I believe, yep. Got some stars there. And we go up here. Doesn't seem like there's anything, so let's go ahead and continue. Go ahead and get some stars. We'll even turn the other Goonies in the stars as well. We're already at a 30. So let's just make sure we don't get hit through the rest of this level. I know that's kind of a tall order, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so here... Here we're going to actually see the flying Goonies. Which you can actually ride them. Yeah, it's actually kind of funny. I was playing um, Super Mario Advance 4, which is the uh, Mario Advance game that's like uh, uh, Super Mario Bros. 3. And you know, the Goonies actually kind of act like the uh, Parabuzzies a little bit that are in that game, but, you know, easier to manage in this game because, you know, they're these guys are bigger and I feel like with Yoshi's, like, hovering mechanic, you can actually land on them more safely. Yeah, I always think it's interesting when you look at, like, how a series like Mario 
that has like even like a bunch of different sub series, you know, kind of borrows things from other games. Or in the case of this, the sub series borrowed from the main game anyway. Okay. Don't have a lot of flowers right now. That's one thing I'm getting a little antsy about, but I still think we have a bit of level left, so. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think that was just a one up. This, I believe, is a flower. Okay, well, that's a little unfortunate that we fell all the way here, but... Better be safe than sorry, and at least this way we know we don't have to... Stay on this path the entire way. Actually, you know what? I think we can actually just go up here, because... Yeah, this is literally just the same place, so... Okay. We're good. Ah, ba, ba, ba. Oh my god, we almost we almost hit Mr. Chunko Goonie or whatever it's called. Maybe it's just called Fat Goonie. Like I, I feel like that's something that would be named that way. Or Big Goonie or something, I don't know. Okay, so we got... Oh, okay. Now, I know one of these is stars. Not that one, obviously. Oh, gee. Oh, jeez! Okay, well. Oh, I tried to... I tried to suck that one up. Okay, well, thankfully... Wow. I well, love how I just pretty much gained nothing from that exchange. Okay, we're good. Maybe. <laughs> I can still make mistakes. Don't don't jinx it yet, me. Okay. Man, the fact that these goonies are like bouncing on top of each other—that's what's kind of throwing me off a little bit. Okay, there we go. I think we're still in the clear, though, because yeah, we have this. Well, actually, you know what? This is this has to be stars because we literally just got a flower when we came up here. So <laughs> there's no way that can be a flower. I'm pretty sure. Okay, I do see that. Let's see if, as you might expect. go got that son of a oh my God. No. not the most clean ending of this level not gonna lie but hey it means we don't have to do the whole level again that's all that matters to me honestly These big goonies are, like, really, really obnoxious, though. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Okay, there we go. So, yeah. Not the most clean ending of a level, but hey. We got it done. So, yeah, I guess the answer to the question of the level name... Uh, fine Feathered Foes, I guess we'll say. 
They weren't very friendly to me in that retrospect. But that's going to do it for that level, and that's going to do it for this video. So this has been Slim Kirby. This has been Yoshi's New Island. I'll see you guys next time when we take on the next two levels of World 5. Hopefully they're less messy than this one was. See you guys then.